London's public transport system is one of the largest and busiest in the world. We're now in the heart of the peak, and it's absolute chaos. 11 million people travel on board a tube or bus in the capital every single day. But not all of them are paying for it. I don't think so, fella. Fair evaders swindle a network out of £116 million a year. You're getting police because of a yeah. It's bullshit. If I don't obtain a name and address, I will arrest you. That's money that could be spent on a better service for passengers like you and me. I pay my way. Prices increase every year to cover the loss. That really angers me. Filmed over one hot summer. All right, let's run this thing then. Hello, excuse me, I'm talking to you. We've gone behind the scenes with Transport for London's investigations unit. That's the gentleman we're looking for. We've got evidence to prove that you're lying. We're with inspectors working undercover on the tube to track down some of the 70,000 daily fare dodges. Please, please! Robert, I'll smash the camera. Another satisfied customer. And with bus enforcement officers fighting a backlash from the public. You are a lost little man. It's bear drama. Jeez. These are the stories of the men and women fighting London's fair dodging war. Let's cut to the chase. Haven't paid the full thing. Listen to me. Listen to me. Rob, that was some different gravy. It's not gone through. Have you just thought? Have you got a ticket for your journey? Have you got a ticket? All right. 59 here. Yeah? Coming up. I want to go to my appointment. You have made me late. No, I haven't. You've made yourself late by not paying. In South London, a sting operation creates conflict with the locals. I won't talk to you. I won't talk to you. Stop talking. I won't talk to you. You're a service that I pay for. Underground and undercover, inspectors on the tube hunt down a suspected serial fare evader. If you can't confirm these details, we have to call the police. And bus enforcement officers face danger on the top deck. So I'm going to have to let you come up. Come on, bus, man. Drama. Bear drama. In 2003, the Oyster card was introduced in London. Topped up with funds before they travel, passengers simply tap on and off tubes and buses as they please. The technology revolutionised the flow of commuters in the capital, but it's also open to abuse by dishonest passengers. With £200,000 lost each day on the tube, specialist investigators now use technology to identify and track down prolific swindlers. Tim is an investigator based at Transport for London's control centre. He and his team prosecute 25,000 fare dodgers a year. He's looking at a passenger flagged for possible criminal behaviour. The Oyster card has come to light because the system has seen and calculated it's only been tapped out at one end of the journey. You need to tap in at the start of the journey and at the end of the journey. The Oyster card calculates the correct fare. The person is attempting to hoodwink the system into believing they've made a, a shorter journey than they've actually made, so thus paying a lot less. So the next step is identifying who that person is. This pattern of behaviour has gone back over a year. That's just over £1,000 in lost fares. If this person isn't apprehended, that behaviour will probably carry on. And it could go on for months, years, and so you can kind of, it's obvious what kind of loss that is, just from one person. Undercover tube investigator James is tasked with tracking down the passenger. Comes through around about now. Put him up for quite a few offences. So you're looking to stop him. He's managed to obtain CCTV images of a potential suspect and zeroed in on him using the travel data from his Oyster card. Started looking at the card, travelling from North Greenwich in the mornings down to Old Street. In the evenings, he's travelling from Old Street back to Woolwich Arsenal in Zone 4, but he's only ever paying for Zones 1 and 2. Despite all the details he has, the target is proving elusive. I went to stop him at Old Street one day. Lucky enough for him, the Jubilee line got suspended, <laughs> so he got off the train. And then another time, we went there to see if he'd come through, and some miracle, he, he decided to come through at like half past six in the morning instead of like half past seven. The longer the offenders at large, the more money is being lost. Last five days, he's come through at North Greenwich, any time between six 
58 and 724. Uh, I believe third time lucky. We turn up, it was scheduled. At the ticket barriers, James is joined by fellow inspector Dan. So, any time swing now and call past, yeah. On average, 40,000 commuters travel through North Greenwich Station every morning. James and Dan will need to scan the faces of every single one. He's going to stand at the bottom and have a look, see who's coming down the escalator. Makes it that little bit easier, if you like. With both of them in position, it should only be a matter of time. Coming up... Is there any reason why you've just come through those barriers without using the ticket? Tube Inspector Scott confronts fare evaders at one of the capital's busiest stations. I don't need to listen to you. you yes, you do. You're now required by law to provide them with your details. Oh, my days. All right, let's run this thing, then. And revenue enforcers in Brixton conduct a sting operation on the buses. Do you know what? Why don't you call me handcuffs? I'm not a policeman, and I haven't sworn at you, have I? Simply tapping on when boarding has made travelling on London's buses very easy for honest passengers. But it's also tempted the more crooked commuter. Ah, two, 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 yeah? It's such a serious problem, a more targeted approach to tackle fare evaders is now employed. I'm not even playing this game, fam. I'm not giving my just I don't understand why am I giving this address. Enforcement officers and the Met Police... Hello, checking Hello. tickets and passes. ...conduct regular sting operations along problematic routes. I'll tell you, sir. Take it up, please. Anyone who tries to run for it is collared. And fair evasion isn't the only crime they encounter. He's dropped his stash. It's cracked. OK. Street value, a couple of hundred pounds. At a bus stop en route to the heart of the city, enforcement officers Babs and Alex are gearing up for the latest operation. So today we're going to be doing a static exercise with the police. And what we're looking for is fare evasion. A group will go into the bus and check everybody has a valid pass. If we come across any irregularities, we'll take the passenger off and deal with it on the pavement, and then we'll allow the bus to go and move ahead, and we'll move on to the next bus. We work closely with the police, and whenever, whenever there's any trouble, they come and assist us. I've had it several times where people threatening you, people swearing at you, people telling that, 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 they, that they're going to punch you and stuff like that. They call the police. Once the police turns up, they act differently then, don't they? All right, let's run this thing then. Straight up, straight up, straight up. Hi, good afternoon. Post pass, please. Gents, forgive me. Could I see your tickets or passes, please? This pass hasn't been tapped on. Come, come. You're going to have to have a chat with my colleague, yeah? Come off the bus with me. We'll have a conversation. Fair evasion is widespread. There's a lot of fair evasion on them buses. It's unfortunate, but you can't get out for now. You can't get a fine now. It's going to be a penalty fare because you didn't validate your contact list. He put his hands up and he paid in. We are good. It doesn't have to become a verbal judo where we're going back and forth. Happy days. All right, all right, all right, all right. Each day is different from the other, so you might go a whole shift without any drama and you my step on a bus where that person is actually having a bad day. All right. 59 here. Yeah? Is this the pass you're using, or are you using another one? No, I've just got up with it. OK, did you tap on the bus? Well, I put it in front of the thing. All right, you want to come off with me, please? We'll have a private conversation. I'm not sure enough. I haven't been rude to you, have I? No, but I've tapped it. OK. I don't know why it hasn't tapped. OK. This is ridiculous. I swiped it. You want to see what I see? Last year this morning. And if you look on the video of me getting on that bus, you will see me putting that card on that reader. OK. So Did you put it on the yellow pad? I put it on the... What well, I always put it on, the Oyster reader. Uh, if it hasn't done it, sometimes the machines don't work. On this Frequently. one, it was working. Yeah, but a lot of the time, they don't. If it hasn't caught it, that's not my fault. OK. It's your responsibility to make sure you have a valid pass when they expect the it Babs digs a little deeper. 
you didn't have enough money on it. You only had 10p on it. Do you have any ID on you, bank card, that I can see your name on, please? Do you know what? Why don't you put me fucking handcuffs and take me down to the hospital? I'm not the police, man. And I haven't sworn at you, have I? Here. I'm going to make a call to my back office and tell you what's going to happen. The amount of kids that walk on them buses and just don't even put a card on, and I'm the mug that pays because it hasn't gone through. Records show the woman hasn't been stopped before, so she won't be prosecuted. It's going to be a penalty fare today. If you take care of it now, it's £40. Do you want to make the payment now? No, I want to go to my appointment. You have made me late. No, I haven't. You've made yourself late by not paying. Most passengers you come across that there's an irregularity with their passes. The primary reaction is embarrassment because there are other people on the bus. This is the penalty fee, and that's how to appeal. Yeah. And that's your to cut back. She was trying to get a rise out of me, try and see if I could give her a trigger to get upset. But I, I just kept cool because I already knew what the emotion was. So basically, that's it. Another happy passenger. Back in North Greenwich, inspectors James and Dan are working undercover to bring down a suspected fare evader they believe has been ripping off the network for over a year. Comes through around about now. They know their suspect regularly travels through the station between 6.50 and 7.15 a.m., a 25-minute window that's about to open. I've got my chief spotter up by the escalators, so as soon as I've got him on board, I'll be all right. Well, Dan stands out in the crowd, I know, doesn't he? Look. <laughs> it's like just putting a tower in the middle of the concourse. This is proving a bit of a pain, this one. James said that he was normally through between 10 to 7 and what past. It's now 16 minutes past, so let's hope it's not another one where we miss him. We passed the time now. Yeah, we'll have to see if he's travelled. When a suspect's under investigation, the inspectors can track their movements in real time. Dan's just going to quickly log on to the Oyster card system and just have a look if the guy's travelled at all this morning, if he's got on a bus or if he's gone on an underground anywhere or if the card's been used. All we need now is Dan to come out and tell us that the guy's just gone through. Any joy? Gone through. 7.02. Gate 43. It looks like he's passed right under their noses. And I didn't see him come through. No, not at all. I, mean, I was heavily focusing on the hairline. And all that, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's quite distinctive. A, with a... a little bit of a chubby face, but not yeah. really overweight, yeah. not like myself. This is the third time they've missed their suspect. I'll log on the CCTV in a minute. Yeah. I'll go and get it. Have a look. All right. We'll see. James must work out how his target slipped the net again. Oh, busy, busy, busy. That time. You use that gate there. Three. Um, no. He didn't come through. I don't know, now I'm thinking, could be someone sharing the card. Just want to go back a little bit as well and see what else comes through. Yeah, card's been shared. This gentleman here, this guy's used the card. Looking at the age of the guy and the guy we previously had images of, looks like it might have been his dad or something like that. And that's why we didn't bloody stop him. OK. So uh, we'll take some images of him and then obviously next time we're going to have to keep an eye out for him and the other guy. With another suspect in the mix, stopping this fair evading operation just got much harder. It's just patience. I think you need patience. That's more than anything else. 
You know, if you don't get them like a day like today, the person who you think's going to come through hasn't come through. Don't get downhearted about it. It's just one of them things. Eventually, things come together. It just takes a bit of time. Other fair dodgers are less subtle in their approach. There are 2,500 ticket barriers on the London Underground, but they don't stop the most determined cheaters. We get people going behind each other. We get people jumping over. We get people crawling under. So we get, we get all sorts. You look at every train that comes in, you'll get at least one or two people are doing it. And that's throughout the whole day. They don't care. They're just like, why should we pay? Today, Revenue Inspector Scott is working undercover at Oxford Circus Station. A lot of people travel to this destination because of Oxford Street. You ask anyone who travels on the underground, they'll know where Oxford Circus is and what it's about. It's London Underground's third busiest station. 80 million passengers travel through it each year. It's a hotspot for barrier blaggers. It's very prolific, this station, very busy. We're always going to get forms of work here, depending on what it is, whether it be people with no tickets, people using other person's tickets, but we will always get work at this station. It's not long before Scott spots someone skip the gate. Now, you can see us all standing here, you can see staff there. Is there any reason why you've just come through those barriers without using a ticket? How is it confusing? You made no attempt to touch in. I forgot. You don't forget, fella, do you? Right, come over here for a spot. Because you come through the barriers about a ticket, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do it by way of a penalty. He could clearly see that there was staff there, but still chose to try and avoid paying for his journey. And there's no let up for Scott. We've just had a call over the tannoy system from the supervisor who's asked us to go to the uh, Argyle exit, and they've got an issue in relation to a ticket. Morning. How are you? Good. Have you got a ticket for your journey? Hello. Have you got a ticket? Yes, I'm clear. No. Have you got a ticket? No, I haven't got a ticket. Okay. No, no, no. You need to have touched him to start your journey. I don't right. need to listen to you. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You're now required by law to provide me with your details because you're in a controlled ticket area with no ticket. Oh, my God. Pop your name and the date of birth on there. Well, you only... Because you're required by law to provide me with your details, all right? Listen to me, listen to me. You need to speak to me. As the young man's friends surround Scott... Then listen to speak... Just speak to me, speak to me, speak to me. The police step in. I've asked him for his details, he's refusing to give them. All I need is his name and address and date of birth, and then he'll be on his way. They said, I'm a, I have to pay a time or £40 or whatever. Your penalty fare. Your penalty fare, whatever. Yeah. Finally, the man complies. Right, £40 been paid. That's the matter dealt with. Cheers. Made the decision on this occasion, given a penalty fare. Travel, people can say it's expensive, and we understand that. But I'm here to do a job. When we lose over £100 million a year in people not buying their tickets, we have to deal with it. Yeah, it's coming. Coming up. If it gets too busy, might have to quickly readjust. James and Dan make a final attempt to collar their man. Hello, sir. Just quickly see your card there for me, please. I'm going to have to let you come up. Hello. The fuck, bro? Come on, boss, man. And enforcement officers Thomas and Yao find themselves at the sharp end of London's struggle with knife crime. I'm trying to see if we can see a police car pass, but typical when you need one. It's an early start for James and Dan, part of a squad working undercover to catch fair evaders on the London Underground. They are tracking a target who's already slipped through their grasp three times before. They now know at least two people may have been fraudulently using the same Oyster card for over a year, avoiding upwards of £1,000 in fares. Is he on the move? He's just on the bus. They're tracking the suspect in real time as the card is being used. 
He's done his regular two bus journey, so we're just waiting for him now to see if he comes in at North Greenwich. Once he's boarded a train, they plan to head him off at what they believe will be his final destination, Old Street Station. It normally takes 21 minutes from North Greenwich to Old Street, so we'll know within a two or three minute window when this person's going to turn up at the station. And then the hardest part is picking him out of the crowd. Yeah, he's coming. Should be coming for about 31, 32 minutes past. James and Dan have to identify one of two possible suspects during rush hour at one of London's busiest stations. And there's a chance even more people are using the card. But if it gets too busy, we might have to quickly readjust. But then hopefully in the next four or five minutes, it'd pop up. Looks on their side so far, with one of the escalators out of order. Better with one, one not escalator in operation. Sometimes you do get a burst and it's just like, blimey, you can hardly see anyone coming through. Hello, sir. Just got to see your card there for me, please. Ticket, right. or, ticket or Easter card? James spots someone who looks like his man. No? Ticket. Yeah. Got a ticket. Let's just have a quick look. And this is it. That's all right. It's no problem. OK, that's fine. It's fine. But it isn't him. Once again, the window of opportunity could be slamming shut. Then Dan spots another possible suspect. Looks like. Yeah. This time, the card details match. We have a control inspector for London Underground. Yeah? Just pop over a minute, just have a quick check with you. Is this your Oyster card? Yes. Your card has been flagged up to us that it hasn't been used correctly. So I'm going to caution you, you do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned, something in which you later rely on in court. Do you understand the caution? Yeah. Yeah. Where do you finish your journey? Uh, Woolwich Arsenal. Woolwich Arsenal. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and what zone is Woolwich Arsenal in? It's zone four. What travel card? Yeah, uh, monthly. Monthly for yeah. what zones? Jones, one to four. Uh, sorry, one to one, one and two. two, yes. Oh, okay. You've avoided basically paying for zones three and four. You should have been buying zones one, two, three and four to go to Woolwich Arsenal. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yeah. Right. So if, if you're happy, you can sign it and yeah. say so you take responsibility now. Yeah, I'll sign it and I'll pay. OK, they but... will organise that. The man's confessed to the fair evasion. Now James wants to confirm his other suspicion. Does anyone else use this card? Yeah, sometimes my colleagues, sometimes they use. Yeah. What? Every day, one, two times in a week or two weeks. Like this. Having admitted the offences, the man is sent on his way. Okay, it's your card. Okay. okay. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Got everything? Yeah. The case will now go to court, where Transport for London will attempt to recover over a thousand pounds in unpaid fares and costs. I'm glad in a way that he at least told us that his friend does use it sometimes, so it justifies what I've seen on the CCTV. If he said it was only him uses it and nobody ever, ever uses it, then I need to go spectators. How you doing, sir? With support from the Met Police, Revenue Enforcement Officers Babs and Alex are in the middle of a targeted operation to weed out fare evaders on London's buses. We need to come off the bus and have a conversation, all right? Not everyone wants to stop and speak to the inspectors. Yo, 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 yo! What are you running for? I have nothing to play with you guys. Oh, it's great, yeah, in the weather. You won't be running around oh, after you. Your friend went for a run. No, I'm not going to run. Is he, no, run. but your friend did. No, no, no. He's halfway to Stretton now. <laughs> nice, nice day for running, <laughs> isn't it? No, 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 no. It's not been tapped on, mate. Um, so I'm going to need your name, your address and your date of birth. But it was under here. Name, address and date of birth, please. This man may just have been trying to escape a single fare but people sometimes run for more sinister reasons. We recover a lot of knives and drugs and uh, a lot of people that are wanted. Um, very rarely do we not do one of these operations and we don't arrest a number of people as a result of offences we've discovered just because they haven't paid uh, their bus fare. 
not everyone appreciates the presence of the Met Police. Yo, there's what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten officers and a van. How many people have been stabbed in the last two weeks? A couple. A couple? OK. All right. What's that I, I wonder if any have been in South London. But you will never see this amount of police when people are getting stabbed or people walking the beat. We don't even have beat officers anymore, do we? I'm just saying, you won't stop knife crime. I won't talk to you. I won't talk to you. Stop talking. I won't talk to you. You're a service that I pay for by working. Don't talk to me. I don't want to talk to you. Why are you talking to me? You're a service. Talk to me. I don't want to talk to him. I don't want to talk to him. I don't want to talk to him. You would think that they're stopping knife crime, but they're not. Ask them to stop knife crime. Ask them to stop invasion, but ask them to stop knife crime. Even we're having what we call exotic third party interference. You get the odd person that might give you colorful language and wonder why the mayor of London is allowing this much resources to fair evasion. We don't take these things personally. You know, we're here to do a job. We just keep a cool head. We don't let it get to us and uh, we just get up with things. Behind the scenes at Transport for London's control centre, technology is driving a crackdown on prolific fare evaders. We're not doing any more formal warnings or any out-of-court settlements. We're literally taking people to court. Part of the Tube's undercover investigation squad, Dan has taken on another intelligence-led case. We've got a new investigation this morning. If we have a look here, you can see loads of red journeys, which is where they haven't touched in or touched out, which is an incomplete journey. For example, on Friday the 9th of August, 7.06, they board bus 380, exiting at Gloucester Road, so you've got an hour's worth of journey with no touch-in. And because the Oyster card can't establish a touch-in station, the card doesn't know where exactly they've travelled from. Dan suspects the passenger is travelling way outside their Oyster card's central London restriction. They're probably coming from Woolwich Arsenal. We're in zone four, bus 380, passes through Woolwich Arsenal station. Just having a look at the map, we've got Woolwich Arsenal station here in zone four. The DLR takes them up to Canning Town. At Canning Town, there's no gates they need to go through, so they can walk through without touching their Oyster card. They will then take the Jubilee line over to Westminster and then the district line, the green line, across to Gloucester Road. And they'll touch out there. Gloucester Road's in zone one. So when they get to Gloucester Road, all they need to do is touch out and they won't be charged because they haven't touched in at Woolwich Arsenal. Their travel card doesn't cover Zone 4. So having a look at this, they buy a Zones 1 and 2 weekly travel cards, which is £35.10. And they should be buying a Zones 1 to 4, which is £50.50. So they're avoiding £15.40 each week. Serial fare evaders can operate every day over very long periods of time. This report goes back a couple of months. Every day they are avoiding zones three and four, and that's over 100 journeys, and we're looking at over £500 worth of fares avoided in just over two months. We've got a consistent pattern, and that will help us then to establish their identity and then stop them. First stop is Gloucester Road tube station, usually the final destination of his suspect. Dan now needs to put a face to the Oyster card. This was probably a shower room, this one, if not partly a toilet as well. So they give us the good, the good places. OK, we'll have a check of the cameras, get a good image of the person. It might be out by a few seconds. The CCTV reveals when the suspect travels and through which gate. So we've got one person here um, who's just come through that gate, which was gate number 41. Although it looks like they've been shopping and they're waiting for someone, that girl there potentially. Another guy come through there. Another one. Guy just come through there. And one more. And that's the end of the minute which they come through. There's a dreadlock guy that comes through, and he goes to the eastbound. So it's potentially him. 
or this one, I think. No, he says goodbye to his mate. So I think the guy with the dreadlocks. Yeah, because he's the only one that went to the eastbound side, which would be the direction towards Willich Arsenal to interchange to get onto the DLR. It might be someone else. And we're going to check another day and see if it's the same person. If we have a look at the 31st of July. Different angle now, yeah. Um, this is gate number 44, which he will be exiting through shortly. There he is there. It is the same person. The footage is not sharp, not fantastic, but he's distinctive in relation to his dreadlocks. And again, he's got the same top on. So we'll get some pictures. Uh, we'll come back in the next couple of days, uh, hopefully in an attempt to stop him. Transport for London employ a 220 strong army of revenue enforcement officers on the buses. Let's not be used on this bus, sir. So I have to issue a penalty for him. It's about 40 quid for what, two minutes on the bus. They come face to face with both dishonest passengers and difficult members of the public. You are a nasty little man! Hello, ladies and gentlemen, the check in tickets passes. Where's that cost, please? In Hackney, East London, revenue enforcement officers Thomas and Yao are working the 149 route. It's notorious for fare evasion, and today is proving no different. So you're coming up there, that car has not been going through. Unfortunately, no. What time is this for you? A bit of a, a hectic bus, this one. OK, sir. So you are going to be issued with a penalty fine today? We'll go with that. This route. Any time of day, this is exactly what we kind to get. Good afternoon. See you ticket or pass, please. On the top deck, Yao tries to ID someone else that hasn't paid their fare. Uh, you have anything with your name, mate? Uh, anything with your name? This is this man. Check it. I know, but name. I will need to confirm that against something. But like how? Is there anything on you if you can show from your phone with your name? Say your Apple ID or anything like that. No. Thomas holds the bus so the situation can be dealt with. One minute drive. There's an issue upstairs. You're refusing to show me. So what, what do you want me to show you, boss? I'm happy to see your applied if you if you're happy to do that. Boss, there's nothing. What do you? It's a new. It's a new. Look, it's a new oh, form. Unfortunately, if you're unable to do that, we're going to have to let you come up. With us. Hello, what the sir. fuck, bro? Come on, boss, man. That's that, look. That's I swear to God. Are you happy to show me your applied? You, you said that's your phone. My Apple, look. There's, there's a new form. Look. There's no Apple ID. That's it. Like, so you're giving me wrong details. I didn't give you. Yeah. That's not. This is not even my fault. Oh, this okay. is not even look. Okay. It's not even look, boss. Sir, give me pictures, sir, boss, man. I'll be grateful. I'll give you oh, another man. chance to give me your correct details. There you go. Yeah. I have the pen. Hello. Come on, boss, man. I'm going to verify your details and I'm going to let you know what's going to happen. That's okay. Okay. I don't want to okay. Have you been stopped by us before, mate? Why the fuck are you? I have my okay, card every day. I've lost my card. To stop swearing, no. Then, as he gets up to leave, the camera crew catch sight of what could be the handle of a weapon. Hey. A member of the crew informs Thomas on the lower deck. Right. Uh, I'll drive. Can you do me a cold red, please? Cold red. And you need police assistance. The police are en route, but the man isn't hanging around. He doesn't want to stay on the bus, so there's not really much we can do. I'm trying to see if we can see a police car pass, but typical when you need one. The only thing we can do is try and see if we see him at the next stop. OK, let's go. Right, when we're ready, please. Inspector? That's in there. Yes, the man is boarding another bus. Get the police for us to go towards Shoreditch. He is on another bus in front of us. With the safety of passengers now the priority, Thomas and Yao need police backup as soon as possible. Coming up. 
There he is. Dan gets his man. Let's cut to the chase here, yeah? I've told you that we're doing an investigation. If you can't confirm these details, we have to call the police. Spec, look, there. And things reach boiling point in Hackney. Drama. Bear drama. In East London, enforcement officers Thomas and Yao have confronted a fair evader possibly carrying a concealed weapon. At the moment, we'll try and see if we whip before he gets off. Travelling behind the bus the suspect has boarded, they're relaying their location to approaching police. Spec, 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 look, there. An unmarked police car brings the bus to a halt. They are here. He's coming off. Yeah, but the police are here. Yeah. An officer identifies the suspect. Drama. Bear drama. He's slipped through the officer's hands and ran off. It is pure drama. In central London, undercover tube investigator Dan is trying to apprehend a suspected serial fare evader. Fellow investigator James has joined the hunt. Is he up for a few offences? Uh, 109. Oh, well, only a few, then. He's trying to hide what he's doing by the one and two and just yeah. jigging out the three and four. So... He try and blag it. Yeah, do you know what I mean? It's suspected the passenger has been travelling here illegally every day for months, but this morning he'll have a welcoming committee. He gets here at 7.53, 7.56 was yesterday. What we'll do is we'll stop him on the way out before he touches out. They've ID'd their target, but have no idea how he'll react to being challenged. For the last couple of days from the CCTV, he wore the same jacket as well, the grey one. So. Hopefully he's wearing the same one. The station layout poses another problem. At this station, they split the district and the circle line. So the circle line from Victoria comes from this platform here. So he could come up this side, depending on what, what train he gets. Just have to see what happens, see if we can see him on this side. If not, he'll be on the other one. There he is. There he is. Hi, right, sir. How are you? Uh, Revenue Inspector from London Underground. Just have a quick chat with you over here, if that's all right. All right. Just a quick chat over here. If we need to speak to you about your journeys, you've made me making journeys and not paying for all of the fare. Yeah, really yeah? big. You won't understand the Every day a week pass. Yeah, every day a week pass. Yeah. yeah, but not for the whole journey that you're right, making. Listen. Yeah? You won't understand the yeah. What don't you understand? Um, Let's cut to the chase here, yeah? I've told you that we're doing an investigation, yeah? For, for not paying the full fare, yeah? You haven't paid the full fare. Yeah, we've checked it. That, listen, listen. This is investigation here is me checking your card. I've already checked your card for, for three months. Have you got some ID? Anything with your name? Do you have a bank card? No? All right. An associate of the suspect arrives and gets involved. We need your name and address. What's your postcode? Uh, postcode in the Yeah. Postcode? SE? Is it? Uh, SC. Yeah. SC5. Yeah, what's the postcode? SC5. Uh, and the last part? Uh, S. S. No, there needs to be another number. What's, what's the house number? 47. Listen. 47. 47. Oh, one second, yeah? If we don't get a verified name and address, yeah? If you can't confirm these details, we have to call the police. What's the house number, please? Uh, house number... What an idiot. What's he going to do that for? It's foolish. It was obvious it was going to happen. Tell him to contact us, because now it becomes a police matter. If he's running away... But, so I've, I've, got, have you got that address right there? No, he probably didn't give a correct address. Because not giving us details is, is an offence. He will get arrested for it. Knew it was going to happen. 
no, he's just messing about too much. His friend looked more disappointed than him. Than yeah. He yeah, that's it. By making a run for it, the suspect's now in real trouble. He works here. What we'll do is we will come back uh, and we'll be here with police. We do catch up with these people. So if people think they can just run and that's it, unfortunately, uh, that's not how it works. In Hackney, police have given chase to a fair evader potentially carrying a weapon. Ladies and gents, there has been an issue on board this bus, as you're aware. The bus has been held for the time being. We're all going to transfer you to the bus behind, OK? We're going to put you in the bus behind. Just go in the bus behind, because the bus behind can go. Do you want a hand with that, madam? Oh. Thank you so much. Yeah. Around the corner, plainclothes officers have caught the man. See, I got fucking going out. No, you can't. They've discovered he's carrying a stab vest, but there's no sign of a weapon. You got no fucking knife. You got them rubber gloves. So they're always in my bag. Stab vest? I always get a stab vest, but it's too hot. Because I've been stabbed eight fucking times before, and I don't want to fucking do that again. That's why I don't roll with a knife. So I don't roll with a knife, that's why I roll with a stab vest. And every single fucking time I get searched, I have the stab vest. Cut fucking this shit. Despite his denials, police retrieve a weapon they believe the suspect threw into a garden while trying to escape. And it's a significant find. Wow. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. That's not the hackney I remember growing That's up in. Probably as long as my arm. Yeah, well done, guys. Good job. Very good. Thank you for assisting. Thanks very much. We have the opportunity to see a thing like that. We don't have to let it slip. I couldn't just ignore it. And Yao made sure the man won't only be facing criminal charges. He got a penalty fare as well, which he didn't want to take, but once we had his name and his address, it was going to go to him. Knife crime is an epidemic right now. It just takes that one person who's got that weapon on him and he's not in the right state of mind or, being, or thinks he's being disrespected, and we can be, you know, not going home. We don't, we don't go into work with our eyes closed, you know? We have to keep our eyes open at yeah. all times. So come out of the house and get back home safely for the family. Stay safe every day, but well, we try to anyway. Yeah. Bruv, that was some different gravy. I'll sign it and I'll pay it. You can't get out for now. Have your tickets ready for inspection, please. Next time. Don't touch me. Do not touch me. In East London, a sting operation gets lively. You think it's OK to try and push me out of the way? I will not have that. She doesn't know that we're onto her at all. Undercover investigators track down a suspected fraudster. We've got evidence to prove that you're lying. It's bullshit. The situation is bullshit. And bus enforcement officers face a fiery passenger. You're here coming to charge me for £1.50 and you're the same skin colour as me, bro. It's bullshit. Don't miss live Gallagher Premiership Rugby this weekend with London Irish versus Harlequins Saturday afternoon at 12.15. And tonight, the pressure's mounting in the interview room as detectives piece together the truth in police suspect number one next. <laughs>